Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the F-16A uh, and we're gonna talk about the Dare Sword. Not, we're, gonna, we're, not, we're not gonna talk about the Dare Sword this, uh, this video, but we'll talk about another video um, right now. I do have to work today, so I apologize about that, of introducing this um, Dare Sword to you late. Um, I apologize as well in the background. It will, my kids are around, so they will be playing their videos in the background. And I will make a thorough video of the whole dev server. But right now, I just want to talk about the six, F-16A. And I will give you a little gist about the um, MiG-29 at the end of this video. But I'm going to give you some ear candy really quickly. And then we're going to talk about the whole F-16 um, in the dev server right now. So you guys enjoy this. And if you're new to the channel, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment below what you think about the F-16 and the whole Dell server. All right, I'll see you at the, uh, after this clip.
All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that clip of the amazing sound of the S16A engine performance and stuff like that, just for a quick little visual. So I wanna talk about the one thing, I wanna talk about the good, great, great speed. The good, I'm gonna talk about the good, the bad, and a little bit in between. Great speed, high altitude, low altitude, great speed, maneuverability, I'm gonna talk about the moon. I'm gonna come back to that, okay? It's not bad, but it's it's something I need to talk about to you guys. The firepower is good. <coughs> That's my thought. I apologize about that. And it's it need it need its radar missile for sure. I believe once it do get a radar missile, it'll be even more valuable. But right now, it don't have any air uh, radar missile, only IR. So that give is is little. It's okay right now. It's just a strictly dogfighter close range dogfight and out long range so the maneuverability the look I, I love everything about it is it's exactly what we needed for this game i wish they would have started off every single like rank 7 and rank 8 vehicle with ir missiles until they in introduce um radar missiles like even though like um only the only strongest radar missile that's still in the game i'm gonna tell you right now the strongest missile that's still in the game right now is the phoenix um in the aim sevens and stuff like that sparrows and stuff that's still the strongest missile in the game um for radar they did not introduce anything much stronger maybe the um the mig-29s have like another potent missile radar missile but i haven't really seen it too much so i'm going to talk about the bad now the bad thing about this plane is the model i feel like is not correct because you cannot pull hard g's you can't pull hard maneuvers and stuff like that at the moment at high speeds people say they did in the dev server i don't know and i'm not finna go into my simulation settings just to be, be able to pull hard g's and rb you know so i wish they they, they probably would adjust that it will change that i believe into the game because i ain't gonna lie to you it's certain moments it's do feel like it's a this plane is a bus um because you have six missiles you have your fuel you have the the fuel pod, you have like all this weight, but you shed it off very, very quickly. And I feel like the game does not adapt to that because um, I don't know. I can't understand it. Like, for example, the extra missiles that's not on the, the wing tips, that's on the um, the hard points. They feel like they 2000 pound bombs for some reason. And I don't know if that's a dev sort of thing that they, they didn't implement yet of different weight calculation for each ornaments. But it feel like this thing is a bust sometimes with the extra missiles. It feel like I'm carrying GBUs and 2,000 pound bombs for the hard points. Um, with the fuel pot, it's a great, it's a great, the drop tank, the extra fuel is great to have. I feel like more vehicles should have it very, very soon because that gives you that range, that distance for simulations for, uh, to continue burning um, and after burning for ARB if it's a very very long match because you don't want to use all your fuel and then at the end of the match you have to return the base while still like three players on your tail who will eventually shoot misses at you because you're you're slow you're vulnerable and you're landing you're landing on your airfield now like i said i don't know if they completely tuned this vehicle out for the for it to be prepared for the dev server but it's i feel like this vehicle like i said before it's it's rushed it's not ready so you cannot pull them hard g's the most g's i turned in this vehicle was nine g's i never hit 10 g's i never hit 11 i never hit 15. i feel like they will change it but i say in balancing purposes and selling purposes they they made it on par with the mig 29 um because i feel like this this is um, I, I watched fly daddy video of, of his reaction between the different mass comparison the engine comparisons and thrust comparisons and everything like that this plane is much lighter in a stronger engine while the mig-29 is heavier with two engines that's pretty heavy and it got less engine output so why does it feel like this plane is underperforming against the mig-29 i feel like they're just selling it so um the missiles the aim 9 ls even the start off missiles is still pretty good it's just you still got to get you know rear in the rear the turning capabilities is pretty good. Um, and once you do get an A6, the gun works pretty well. So I will say this. Um, it's going to be a tough grind. 
because all you have is IR missile. People are expecting you once you see that once you see their name tag of you saying the F-16, you will have a hard battle because they prepare for your flares. You got to catch every single target off guard and get a lucky kill. Um, and it's going to be very difficult, especially for the F-16. I don't know if they do mixed battles for top tier. I'm assuming they will. F-14 is still OP. So all you F-14 pilots, including myself, the F-14 is still OP because you got the radar missiles, the long range capabilities, and you can avoid these uh, enemies before you have to engage, actually engage them into a dogfight, as you can see here. Um, even though the F-14 probably could, I'm going to let you know later, like I said, uh, I'm going to remember F-14 and we're going to talk about the MiG-29 for a little bit as well. Because I don't have the MiG-29 because they they blocking me from researching it because I need more than five vehicles at five, rank 7. I got the MiG-23 MLD, but it won't let me research it for some reason. So I don't know what's going on with that. But I'm just going to grind it out anyway so, you get, so I can bring it to you guys, so I can introduce it to you guys and see what the real difference with it. But I noticed something when I looked at the vehicle. That was pretty strange, and I want to talk about that to you guys right about now. So the MiG-29, uh, the MiG-29. What is so weird about this vehicle right now? It's overperforming, I believe. Not because of what you think. Like they nerf the maneuverability for the F-16. I feel like it could pull more G's than what we see in in the game at the moment. And. And that's it. That's I feel like that's the main problem. And I feel like it's it's um what is it? It's uh acceleration for the F sixteen. It's pretty slow in my opinion. For all that um all that thrust and stuff like that, it feels pretty slow. So that's my second point. So the turn is not correct, the turn time is not correct, and the high pull G is not correct, and I feel like the thrust like the the yeah the thrust is not correct like oh it don't feel like like i feel like the it should it should be it should be accelerating much quicker than what i think it should for a light aircraft these missiles is not that heavy compared to a 2000 pound it feel like i'm carrying 2000 pound bombs and it, it's just i want to gain speed it gains its speed but for example i carry only two missiles from the like tip wing tips and i was going like mock point to something really quickly but when i had like the extra missiles i'm going mach 0.9 that's a huge difference because it's like you cannot gain your speed back once you lose in a turn fight so that's one of my biggest issues about what they did with this dev server they rushed it so the mig-29 the mig-29 is overperforming because it got a different model set to it it has the f-14 model attached to the mig-29 model it have the same engine it got the same output and it got everything else pretty much the same and I feel like that's the problem with this vehicle, and that's why it's doing so well. So, I, it was a player. It was a player who had a MiG-29 talking a lot of mess about YouTubers and stuff like that, playing the MiG-29, and they F they playing the F-16, but they can't kill the MiG-29 because some reason. And I was confused because the guy said he researched the F-16, but I looked in his stack card, he didn't have it. But I was wondering like why? Like I, I won one dog fight with the MiG-29, and that's when I was very stuck. But once I started using it, like six missiles and more, six m more missiles and and kept all my fuel, I could not turn with the uh, with the fighter unless it's really really low speeds, because once it's like it's weird. Once you get around like 600 kilometers or 500 kilometers, now you can finally turn. But when you're going like under like Mach 0.8, you cannot turn at all for some reason, and it's weird because it's like I want to turn. I want. I know I could beat this guy in a dogfight. But it won't the game is like nerfing me so I won't. Like it's like a it's like aim assist, right? But you know how plain you know it's, it's you know it's plain assist on this game, but it's like it, it it hinders you from doing like crazy maneuvers, like arcade. So like I said, like it's, I don't want to use simulation battles to kill somebody or be able to get on a six quicker. But the I looked at the stat card, it's a twenty second turn time for the F sixteen, and I feel like that's wrong. And the same thing with the MiG-29. I feel like the MiG-29 is a heavier plane with a lower output, um, engine output, and it should be turning like around like 27 seconds, probably 25 to the most. And I feel like um, the F-16 would be fine with that if the MiG-29 had its right accurate stack card. But um, 
that's that's one thing to to correct that guy i looked at the the information of the the t14 I mean the f14 and the mig 29 um and see that they both had the same they had they literally put the engine output and everything the frame and all that of the f4 f14 into the mig 29 so that's why it was able to turn that's why i was able to keep up with the uh, f16 in certain engagement and it was just very weird so hopefully they fix that in the update of uh, when it, when the final update to the main server because it, it is going ang to anger a lot of people because they know the truth you know the truth is out there even in the wikipedia wherever you want a data source is out there it tells the truth about these vehicles um i'm going to keep keep grinding i'm definitely going my first grind um vehicle is going to be the f16a and then second it will be mid 29 and I'll go oh, real quick, real quick. Um, the missiles, that missile, the little head locking missile thing, like you can look like helmet lock missile thing, is not, it's strong, it's really good, but it's not like toxic strong, if that makes sense. They do got dead zones, so you don't gotta worry about that. They don't gotta, for example, they looking at the belly of their plane and they're able to fire at you because what they can see you through the, through their plane, like, nah. They cannot see. They cannot shoot through their plane. It gotta be like, um, it's a it's dead zones for sure. So, like they can't be like, for example, you be behind them and they got a lock on you. So you don't gotta worry about that. And I really enjoyed this plane. It's gonna be great for ground RB. It's gonna be great in air RB. Um, even when once they do introduce with a radar missile, it'll be very much stronger with a radar missile. And I'm excited to see that. So if you guys are afraid about what you're hearing or seeing. Trust me, you know this F-16 is very powerful. Even with, even with its nerfs, like it's it's very nerfed, it's still very strong. Um, all you gotta do is worry about your speed, because at the moment they don't. They like, for example, they didn't calculate the speed right for this vehicle, so you can when you when, how hard you could turn, how far you could turn, and it, it's it's just a balancing situation right now. They they balancing it for the dev server. But I think it's going to change in the next dev server or on the main server. Hopefully, I'll change because it feel underpowered. Like, the power to, like, gain speed is not there. The power to turn is not there. The power to even, like, do some crazy maneuvers is not there because it's this assist or, or nerf. I don't know what it is, but it's not. Oh, like, look at if you look at this video right now, look at the wing. It You know how much angle the back um, ailerons make compared to what you just seen there. Even though I'm going mock, like look, it's it's not pulling. It never pulled more more than 10, and that's just in, you know, ARB, like that's mouse aim simulation. It ain't even um, simulation like um, aim. And I hate to have to say this, like I'm not finna go into simulation battles just to be able to pull more Gs to avoid missiles and stuff like that because these missiles are strong. The F-14 missiles are strong. The MiG-29 missiles are strong. And because I don't have that pull, I can't evade them. So the stock grant is going to be very difficult if I can't pull. Because people are going to go the Eagle Day way to the to the greatest, the best missiles in the game. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to affect your experience until you get your best missiles. But like I said, they're expecting you to shoot these radar missiles and they're prepared to flare. The only uh, the only backup you have is in the Tomcat with uh, in the Tomcat with the Aim Seven Sparrows and the Phoenix Six. That's the only backup you have that will help you cripple these enemies. But that's one thing I do like. You can it's gonna be a great teamwork between F14 and F16 together and battle together. I don't know. If, it's gonna be a lot of mixed battles for sure. But that's all I already have for you guys. The F the F16 is here. Um, I'm really excited to grind this out once it do come to the main server. Um, yeah, fix those little things. It's a great plane. This plane, I'm saying off rip right now, this plane is better than the F-16. I mean, I, mean, I said it wrong. The F-16 is better than the MiG-29 right now. The only thing that the MiG-29 doing is right now is having a F-14 um, module into his, um, into his skin. If so, I feel like the because I, I beat the MiG-29 without guns, like with just guns, no missiles. For it to be able to to beat me um in a turn turn fight is really surprising. But I don't know. I'm not a real uh, a real jet main. 
I don't know all the vehicles in the world and its capabilities and stuff like that. I'm just doing my best. I'm still learning as uh, as time goes and progression goes, so I will do better and better. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, comment below what you think about the whole dev server. You did play it. I recommend you play it because it's a lot of people on the dev server. And tell me what you think, what you're going to grind for. I'm grinding for the F-16 off rip and then the MiG-29. But I want to thank you all for checking out this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And comment below, like I said, what you think about the dev server, anything else, and how you feel about the F-16 and the MiG-29 um, performances if you have played it. And I'll see you guys in the next one, probably after work. I'll upload another video. Hopefully, I grant out the MiG-29 for you guys. Probably not, but um, MiG-29 and some other vehicles that's going to be interesting to you. For example, gyro site, gyro site. But stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.